Welcome back, my name is Therese and I'm very much alive for the time being. If you're new here, welcome. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. I know, I know, I'm seeking professional help. I will be okay. So if you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul. But I remember our time fondly. Oh my crunchy little crab rangoons, I've missed you so much and I'm so, so excited to be doing another makeup bingo video. These videos warm my little heart. If you are new here, hi, my name is Teresa and I'm a garbage person. And this is a video I do once a month with my beautiful hot tamale of a co-host, Emily Hanhan. Emily is the brainchild behind this idea. It's basically a, a new makeup releases video mixed in with some bingo and adult libations. If you are interested in actually playing, the link to the bingo cards are down below in the description box. So Emily and I could Piled together a list of new releases from the last few weeks. Let me show you what those are. So for today's episode, this is my bingo card. And without further ado, welcome to motherfucking Makeup Bingo. <sighs> Yum. All right, so what I'm drinking today, day drinking by the way, <laughs> because I recorded this video yesterday and then when I was editing it this morning, I noticed that all the footage was out of focus and the audio was being weird. So, you know, love that for me. So right now I'm super paranoid. <laughs> That's gonna do that again and I'm gonna cry. Um, but what I'm drinking is some bourbon leftover and I mix it with some crystal light iced tea because I'm classy and that's the only mixer I have, is that or milk? And if you wanna see me throw up, you gotta pay extra for that and that's on Patreon. By the way, I just really, miss fall. <laughs> I know we're going into spring, but I really just miss pumpkin spice lattes. So I wanted to be a pumpkin dream today. Is it a lot? Yes. Do I care? No. Clinique came out with more blushes. Are these the same? What the fuck are these? You know, the pans are really pretty. They're not really my speed. I'm, I'm more of like a um, skull boy, not so much of a flower boy. So uh, this doesn't really uh, fucking speak to me. I mean, they're pretty, they're, they are very pretty, but it's just like something that I'm just like, oh, I need to have them. No, I know a couple months ago, they came out with ones that have like the little, um, I know, it was like some fucking anime or whatever. They had anime pan designs and I was like, I'm listening and I was interested in that. But then when I saw that it was only available in Asia with no hope of ever coming to the US and the shipping was like $90, I was like, I don't think I need that Clinique blush all that much. This doesn't spark any joy within me. If anything, this is just a pretty embossing but a basic ass fucking product. And I feel like that's what Clinique is lately. Just we're going to add some pretty designs, but overall it's a basic fucking product. And yeah, meh, I'm gonna pass. So Mel Cosmetics came out with a 420 collection. This is the second weed reference, right? All right, I got you. Really like fucking pot. Uh, good job, okay. Honestly, the color story speaks to me. I wanted to pick this up when it came out, but it sold out in eight minutes. And then I was kind of okay with it selling out because I didn't like the fact that you had to get the bundle. All I want is a palette. Like, I don't need a pipe. If I wanted a pipe, I can just literally go outside and find one on the streets. <laughs> I laugh, but it's so fucking true. <laughs> oh, okay. And then it came with two liners. Me. The palette looks like the baby of the Gemini and the Rust palette mixed in with a little bit of the 27 palette. I'm into this weird incest that's going on and I want it. The other reason why this also, this palette interests me is that it's all mattes. I personally am not a huge fan of their shimmer shades. I think they're very hit or miss and often the things that fucking explode in my fucking palettes. So I'm very happy that this is an all matte palette. In any case, this is my color story and I look forward to picking it up when I do. And I'm a bingo card. 
card. This is motherfucking the devil's lettuce, bitch. All right. This is uh, a weed themed palette. Next. Yeah! All right. So the next one I'm going to pull is from Beauty Bakery. This is a cash grab. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is. To me, it's a cash grab. It's adorable. Don't get me wrong. It's really fucking cute. I love that there's a little spatula and a whisk and all that nonsense. Me as a fat person fucking loves it. Me as a makeup enthusiast, eh, I'm not into it because I feel like they probably just put a lot of time and effort into the brush handles, which is something that you're never really going to see because it's going to be the bottom of the cup. And then the, the brushes that they do have, they don't look like anything super interesting. I almost would have appreciated more had they matched the brush heads to the handle. For example, the whisk, they could have made it more of like a narrow crease brush. That would have been fucking cool. If the company would have matched the actual brush head to the handle, I would have been like, that's fucking genius. I love it. But I feel like they probably spent more time with the brush handle than they did the actual brushes. So yeah, I feel like this is a motherfucking cash grab, bitch. Nothing wrong with that. Everybody deserves their coin, but this is something that I would totally pass on. The brush roll is also really fucking adorable. It's a little apron. I don't know. I just feel like these are just so fucking kiddish. I feel like this is more in line with like my child's first makeup set as opposed to like being someone that's going to turn 35 being like, I'm going to use this whisk, <laughs> you know? <laughs> And maybe there are some 30 year olds that really love it or 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 year olds or 80, 90, whatever. Okay, maybe there are. But I just feel like this is just so gimmicky, like sugar rush for tart. You know what I mean? Not into it. So for me, this is a cash grab. But I wish them well though. And if you do buy it, let me know how it is. I am thoroughly fucking curious because a part of me was like, oh, maybe I'll come to Ulta and I'll get to see what it looks like in person and touch it. And then I realized, oh yeah, Corona. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to touch things ever again. So the next one I'm going to pull is Bobby Brown. <gasps> oh, this is another one that's like beautiful embossing basic ass fucking product. So Bobby Brown and Flower Girl NYC, don't know who the fuck that is, inspired by Dennis Picaro's romantic flower arrangements. <gasps> so this is a limited edition set. You come with a highlighter, two blushes, three crush oil infused glosses, and three cream shadow stick duos. Ooh. Honestly, the thing that is like grabbing me is the highlighter because that is fucking pretty. I know, I know, I know. I talk shit about Clinique saying like, oh my God, those flowers. But this flower design, oh bitch. Oh bitch, I kind of need to have it. So the other thing that they have too is the blush and glow duo kind of intrigued considering I've been like on a cream kick lately and then of course there is uh, glosses I don't give a shit about them eh, whatever and then cream shadows I, don't, I could care less if I were to get anything from this collection I would totally pick a highlighter and perhaps one of the blush and glow duos but that highlighter just looks so fucking good I'm actually excited for Bobbi Brown I usually am like eh Bobbi Brown next and but now I'm kind of like I don't know, I'm a little bit into it so I'm happily gonna pick up something whenever the fuck this comes out and with that said i'm going to label this though on my bingo card as a collab with someone that's not known for their makeup so the next product is from benefit benefit is throwing their hat into the sponge game and they're coming out with a fucking sponge pretty much just looks like the beauty blender except it has benefit stamped into it honestly it's probably gonna be about twenty dollars y'all you really want a good sponge? I'll let you in on a secret. Go to this website called Shop Miss A. Go look for a thing called a paw paw sponge. They're about $1.55 a sponge. Or you can get a set of six sponges for uh, like roughly like eight or nine dollars. Just get that. Those sponges are amazing. So this is a big old no for me, dog. Honestly, this just looks like a stiff ass sponge. You know those sponges? Even after wetting it for 45 minutes, it's never gonna grow and it's gonna feel like a fucking rock hitting your face. That's what the sponge looks like. <laughs> Fuck this sponge. No, no, no. Go get the shop missing sponge. What are you doing with your life? But on my bingo card, this is a, it's a new beauty sponge. Ooh. So the next one I'm gonna pull, oh, this fucking thing. Okay, who okayed this? <laughs> who, who okayed this shit? This is from EOS. I love me a good EOS ball, right? 
but I stopped buying EOS balls because I'm obsessed with Treat Beauty and their lip balm. This thing just <laughs> this just looks like a dick nap. <laughs> like, who okayed this? Who was like, you know what? I got it, guys. I got it. I got it. We're going to make a lip balm and a highlighter and we're going to shape it like this little tiny dick knob. It reminds me of my coworker. <laughs> and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to link a story time up here. Oh man. What he described to me. That's what it, that's what this looks like. Oh man. Okay. I don't know who okay this little dick knob, but it's it's not it, bro. <laughs> What the fuck is this? I also kind of feel like this is kind of like a very weird fucking product. Like you're gonna put it on your lips and then you're gonna put it on your cheekbone. I don't know, like I give them points for being creative. <laughs> but I feel like some things shouldn't be made. And I feel like this is one of them. I don't know, I just I just can't get over the dick nub. <laughs> like that's all I see is, that's all I see is <laughs> this like little fucking dick coming at me every day. I can't, I can't fuck with that, no. I wish there was something on my bingo cards that's like, penis shape. The more I look at this, the more I feel like it's warping my brain. <laughs> the more it's like, it's only $5. You should check it out and make a video. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm listening, dick nap. I'm listening. No, I can't. No. Sold out, huh? <laughs> So next one I'm gonna pull is <sighs> Gucci. First of all, packaging wise, holy shit. Shit my pants, I fucking want it. It looks so beautiful, it looks heavy, it looks like the kind of compact you throw at somebody and you instantly put them in the hospital. And I love that. Like I almost kind of want to like hire an assistant, like Naomi Campbell style, and just fucking throw that at them. Be like, you didn't get me enough cheese fries. You know, I don't know why I also developed a weird accent when doing it, but you know, when you start to get money, I imagine that's what happens to you. Anyway, I want this so badly. <laughs> I imagine it's probably gonna be like 60 or 70 or $80. Probably 80. The fucking packaging alone is just so ridiculous and I want it. Iconic Hollywood movies from the vintage era. This is a lightweight formula pack with micro reflecting lamellar powders and emollient agents that melt into the skin and give a luminous complexion. Infused with subtle floral fragrance. Ah, I hate floral smells because half the time it just smells like an old lady's pussy. I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> No, I'm not. I don't give a fuck. I hate that floral fragrance. It usually just smells like fucking funeral homes. I hate that smell. But I'm so intrigued because it looks like it's going to make me a better person. Fuck. I'm probably going to get this. I am going to get this. I have to get this. I have to. I'm trying to rebrand myself into being a better person, so I might as well get this. I'm going to get this. And with that said on my bingo card, I'm going to call this Millennial Pink because of the compact and the little... Uh, powder puff, the little strap, that millennial pink. So uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna say that. I'm intrigued. Next. Yeah! So next one I'm gonna pull is from Buxom. Buxom. I am obsessed with their fucking lip products. I think they're fucking great. I've never tried anything else from the brand. Oh, I want that palette. So they came out with a palette called Staycation Vibes. $39. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for the brand. I don't know. But the color story is very pretty. I love the yellow. Obviously, I'm drawn because I'm a slut for yellow. I like it. The glosses look fantastic, obviously. Ooh, the bronzers look really nice. Rooftop tan. It's speaking my fucking language over here. I'm intrigued. I really want to try Buxom stuff, but I have never really heard too much about them, especially for shadows. So let me know down below if you have tried Buxom eyeshadows and let me know if you think it's worth it for me to pick up. Cause I'm curious, like I'm genuinely curious. Also, I wanna try the bronzer. Even though I feel like I just bought a shitload of bronzer, I wanna try more. That's bad, I shouldn't do that. But I'm intrigued though. Is this limited edition bullshit or no? It's always gonna be there. Oh, it's coming soon. It's not even available yet. Okay, interesting. Uh, the polish is fine. There's a dog, the gloss set is 25 bucks. That seems fair. Can I mark this on my bingo card? You know, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is another lip gloss because it is, it's another lip gloss from Buxom, but it's not a bad thing. I like their lip glosses. Next. 
The next one I'm gonna pull is from ColourPop. Oh, ColourPop, I've missed you so much ever since California closed down. I feel like I never hear from you. Glad to know you're fine and well and you're just selling an Ulta. Good for you, babies. Okay, so this is available now. This is the Celestial Collection. Ooh. Packaging wise, adorable. And that's all I got. Now the shadows I feel like are just like the same fucking things over and over again. It's just in different packaging. I feel like I have seen this product before. Don't get me wrong. I feel like when it comes to like the Ulta, the ColourPop Ulta palettes, they don't stand out to me. They just pretty much all look identical. It's the ColourPop palettes on the ColourPop website. Now those, those spark a little joy in my makeup dick, but not the ones from Ulta. The ones from Ulta, all all look exactly the fucking same, except they'll put some butterflies on it, or it's a galaxy, or it's a fucking rainbow. <laughs> they are so forgettable, and they all blend into each other. Not into it. I could be wrong though, 22,000 people love it on Trend Mood. <laughs> Maybe I'm the odd one out here, but it's not my cup of tea. I feel like I used to really love ColourPop, and then when ColourPop started literally face fucking me every time I would open up Trend Mood, I just was like, you know what? I had enough. I'm all sad. On the bright side, I could mark this on my bingo card as it's a ColourPop release. So see, there's something good about that. Thanks, ColourPop. Next. Yeah! So the next one I got is KBD Vegan Beauty. Is that you? Oh, that's strange because it says Kat Von D on the outside packaging. I know the reason why Kat Von D's name is still on there is because at least KBD Vegan Beauty, which is constantly a fucking mouthful to say. Like I know that they want to use up all the older components. So I have a feeling that we're never going to see the true KBD Beauty logo ever. <laughs> It's gonna be one of those things where they're gonna be like, oh no, no, we're working on it, we're working on it. We're just we're just gonna try to get these Cat Von D ones out. And then it's never gonna happen. <laughs> so when I saw this, I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, what is this? It's almost a jarring because I'm so used to the Cat Von D aesthetic, right? So I'm so used to like kind of like the muted, gothic, vampy kind of color. So when I see like this purple and pink, I'm like, what the fuck is this? It makes me laugh because it was like a huge, you know, we're gonna rebrand. It's Cat Von D's no longer associated with this. This is KVD Vegan Beauty, whatever, great, cool, fucking amen. It's like all this fanfare, and then this is like, it's this. <laughs> it's like the biggest letdown. Here's the thing, I'm intrigued to try stuff from KVD Vango, Vingo, Vegan, God damn it, KVD Vegan, Be see, I can't even fucking say the name. I'm intrigued to try the new KVD brand, I am, because I'm curious to see if it's the same quality as Cat Von D or if it's a little bit different. I I'm intrigued, I will fucking bite. However, I wanna purchase something that excites me and this is just something that is just like, it's just boring as fuck and whatever, blah, blah, blah. I would love to say that this is, um, same shit, different packaging, but that's not the case here. It's slightly different shit, same packaging, <laughs> so. Oh my God. Is Karen Harris getting shouted out by Trend Mood? Thank you for the fabulous update, Karen Harris makeup. <gasps> Karen, bitch, what did you, what, oh my God. Bitch, you're famous, you're on Trend Mood. Yes, queen. Okay, it's the only thing I'm excited about for this whole fucking <laughs> KVD. I'm excited for Karen being shouted out by Trend Mood. Everything else could suck a dick. All right, next. We got a new brand, y'all. We got a new brand. The Wayne Goss Cosmetics Company, which I'm excited about. I like Wayne Goss. I think he's an adorable little pumpkin. You guys know I'm not a makeup artist by any fucking means. Trust me. Nobody would ever leave the house like this. But I feel like I have, you know, from when I started on YouTube to now, I would say that my skill has gotten a little bit better. Not by much, but it's gotten a little bit better. And I like to, uh, you know, thank Wayne Goss because Wayne Goss has hooded eyes and so I try to watch his videos. I try to learn some shit from Robert Welsh as well. So with that said, I definitely want to try something from Wayne Goss. And to be honest with you, I am a neutral slut. I love a neutral lip. I'd rather be extra here and boring here. And this whole line of lipsticks, my makeup dick is so hard right now. I'm impregnating everybody, okay? I love 
of this. And I watched his video and I loved everything that Mel Thompson put on her face. And I was like, oh fuck, I want all of it. So when this does come out, which is gonna be next week, I believe, it's going to launch today. This is when the episode's gonna go up. Happy Cinco de Mayo, y'all. I'm gonna be picking up maybe a couple of lipsticks and a gloss and a lip liner or something like that. Cause I, I kind of want to try a couple of different things, but I am so intrigued and I'm so fucking excited. So congratulations to Wayne Goss. I think this is awesome. Really hope your launch is successful and I cannot wait to fucking purchase it. With that said on my bingo card, I'm going to call this a new influencer brand. Cause even though he has a brush line, this is technically new because it's cosmetics. I'm excited to try. Next. So the next one I'm gonna pull is from Sugary Cosmetics. Mm. This is the Scoops ice cream palette. Fuck is this. <laughs> Y'all, what is this? It reminds me of Bombshell Cosmetica, except Bombshell Cosmetica was more of like cartoony versions of the food items. These look like really shitty stock photos of food items. They almost look like they're from the 80s. If I rolled up into a fucking ice cream parlor in the 1980s, okay, with this look on, of course, this is the thing that I would point to in my plastic menu. <laughs> I'd be like, I want the number four, please. Radical. It's just not aesthetically pleasing to me. If you are gonna go this route, I feel like you should use a better picture. Just looks like just shitty 80s shit. Not into it. And I love fucking 80s stuff, all right? I was born in the fucking 80s. I love 80s things. This is not it though. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is. I feel like this is the kind of shit also you would see like in Saved by the Bell, like in the Max. You know what I mean? The color story for the palette, yeah, they're okay. It's like it's like a fucking rainbow palette. Swatches kind of look a little chalky too. I don't know. I'm not into it. I'm not into it. This is a big old no for me. But I wish you well. <laughs> if anyone actually did purchase any of this stuff, let me know down below from a big asshole. Because I always eat my fucking words. But yeah, this is this is a no for me. And on my bingo card, this is, this could be a lot of things, but I'm gonna call it a food theme makeup release. Let's be nice. We're gonna call it a food theme makeup release. Next. Yeah! So the next thing I'm gonna pull is from Lime Crime. Lime crime, what are you doing, bitch? You coming out with a freckle pen? <laughs> it's just funny because I remember when I was a kid, I have freckles, right? And I know it's hard to tell because I plaster my face with so much fucking foundation. But as a kid, I hated my freckles. It used to be made fun of, like, looks like someone put shit on your face and all kinds of stuff. And I'll never forget, <laughs> I met this one guy who said to me, you know, you have liver spots on your face. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, okay. It's like, yeah, that's what freckles are. Their liver spots. And I've always felt very weird about my freckles. For the longest time, I fucking hated them. I always felt weird about wearing foundation when I was younger because I know people knew I had freckles. So I felt weird about covering them up. I was like, I might as well wear my shame freckles. And now as an adult, I'm like, I could fucking care less. I'm pouring a bunch of foundation on my face. Who fucking cares? So I find it really funny that this is such a huge trend right now that people want freckles. So let me tell you, back in 1991, Kids were very cruel on the fucking playground talking shit about my freckles, all right? So I just find it really funny that it's just a, a fucking trend now. The only thing I will say though is that this fucking freckle pen's $18. Couldn't your eyeliner or your eyebrow pencils do the same job? Just food for thought. But with that said, I don't think I could put anything on my fucking bingo card. I already did the true cash grab. Can't do it again. Next. <laughs> So the next one I'm gonna pull is from, this is fucking strange, all right guys? This is, <laughs> oh God. So Maybelline came out with their infamous matte and poreless liquid foundation, but in a pouch. Not gonna lie, pouch resembles a catheter bag a little bit. It's weird. It's what I imagine makeup is gonna look like in the future. Everything is just gonna be out of a bag. Your food, your makeup, your drinks, you're gonna be living in a bag world. Probably in 15 years, that's probably what's gonna happen. We're all gonna be living out of bags. It's gonna be a very Wally -E kind of world. You know, I'll deal with it then. Also, it kind of looks a little bit like those kids' um, applesauce pouches. I feel like in the wrong hands, a kid could get confused and they're gonna try to drink it and it's gonna be Maybelline and then there's gonna be a lawsuit freaking me out. I don't like it, I don't like it. Get it away from me. Yeah, no, this is a big old no for me, dog. One, I'm 
I'm gonna pull is from NARS. Okay, I need a drink for this one. So NARS is coming out with more orgasms, <laughs> which begs the question, how many orgasms does one need? Trick question, don't answer that. So NARS is coming out with an orgasm eyeshadow palette, an orgasm cheek palette, and mini orgasm eyeshadow palette, an orgasm oil infused lip tint, so forth and so on and so on and so on. This collection reminds me of that one person we all know that cannot let go of high school. We're all in our 30s. Some of us are married. Some of us are getting divorced. Some of us are working on their third marriage. I'm not here to judge, okay? Some of us have kids. And you have that one friend who still looks exactly the same as they did in 2003. They cannot let go of those goddamn low rise jeans and those little tiny coach purses and those frosted fucking lips. And I like to remind you of stupid bullshit that happened in high school. And that my friends is this collection. It's like NARS, when is enough enough? I feel like every four months to stay re <laughs> to stay relevant, they're like, we need to put an orgasm on something. Jill, what do you got? Cheek palette, great, great. I think we did that, but we could do it again. Eyeshadow palette, awesome bill. Mini one, great. I feel like they're just all yelling things and instead of editing themselves, they're just putting that fucking name on everything because that's the one thing that people remember about this brand. Probably a great blush. I say probably because I don't own it in my collection and now I don't think I'll ever own it because I'm so tired of this fucking name being shoved down my goddamn throat. I'm just tired of it. It's like, when is enough enough? Like how many fucking orgasm things do you actually need? You don't need any of this shit. Honestly, it's like the palace itself. There's nothing interesting about them. So no, no, this is a big old no. <sighs> Sorry, Stephanie, guess you're gonna have to stay back in 2003. However, on my bingo card, I could call this a, a product that won't die. <laughs> this bitch has overstayed her welcome. It's time to move on. Time to think of something different. This ain't it, sis. This ain't it. And with that said, I hit motherfucking makeup bingo. So let me know down below how you feel about these products, if you're gonna be picking them up or if you're gonna call me an asshole. Let me know down below because I love hearing from you guys. That said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, shh. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Discord, Patreon. I have a podcast called Miserable 3 and Dead and Bored. If you're interested to know what is currently on my disgusting face, everything will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Continue to stay safe. Bye.